Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a tool called Easy Context Menu, and what this will do is it will uh, add all kinds of items to your right-click menu for all kinds of categories, uh, per for performing various kinds of tasks. So let me just show you how it runs here. So once you download it here, it's a, it'll be a zip file, it's free by the way. I just extract it and run the executable. And then you have all your categories here. Desktop Context, Tools, System Tools, Turn off options, and there's the My Computer section with subcategories for system tools. So you might see that you have uh, similar things here, depending on what category you're under here. For the desktop context, My Computer context, and so on. And the drive context, folder context, file context, and file extension. So I'll just go over a couple options here, then you could play with it yourself and see what it does for you. Uh, let's see, like, let's say in the main one here, select all files. Once you uh, pick it, just apply it, make a little sound, then you right click, show more options. Now we have select all files here. Uh, under tools, you know, delete, restart Windows Explorer. Let's say, uh, let's add some stuff under the tools menu here. Let's do restart Windows Explorer, fix print spooler, and then their system tools, we'll do computer management and task manager, apply it. So we did tools menu and system tools, so when we right click, unfortunately Windows 11, you have to do show more, show more options, and we did a video on how to get rid of this and make it like the uh, Windows 10 style if you want to check that out. Okay, so now we have tools and system tools to match what we have here, and then within there we have the items that we selected. So this run fix principle, so if you're having problems with your principle, just click on that, it'll run it. Operation completed, and hopefully that fixes it for you. If you want to open task manager, just like that. Then you know the turn off options if you want to have a quick way to you know switch users from wherever you are. Probably not too useful since you can get to it pretty quickly here. Uh, delete temporary files is nice. Uh, some of these other things here. Open the registry editor or command prompt from wherever you are. Start MS config, device manager. Uh, disk cleanup, defrag. These are, you could kind of tell some of these are older, you know, based on, you know, we don't really use defrag or disk cleanup that much. Uh, this might come in handy if you want to take ownership of a file. So let's apply this. Let's go here, let's open up a new folder here. So let's say we want to take control of this or ownership. Take ownership. And now that's the, this current user is the owner of that uh, folder. So this you know, may or may not work depending on where this folder is. And you know, if it's like a Windows system folder, you might have some trouble and you probably want to do that anyways. But it's good for you know, basic folders. Uh, block access, change the icons, permanently delete, change attributes. This one's kind of cool. It's like a little separate little GUI here if you want to change the attributes of this uh, particular folder here. And then some of the file contacts, you know, open with notepad, uh, so on. Uh, actions you could take on executables. Let's just check them all here. Okay, now let's go back to this, let's say. Delete from firewall, add to firewall, run with parameters, just like that. So a lot of these things are useful, a lot of them not so much. So when you go to the website, if you're running Windows 10, uh, there's something you need to do for uh, specific actions here where you need to check this My Computer for Windows 10 bug. So kind of read through that before you use this for Windows 10. So I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and uh, try it out for yourself and see if it helps you out. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.